Alright, <clears throat> well, my, uh, my redneck buddies decided to uh, convince me to come way down here to, feels like South Florida to me just because it's on the other end of the county, but uh, um, we're going down to a, a little chunk of public land that uh, Brady hunts quite a bit and it's the late florida muzzleloader season so we get to we get to hunt until the end of february down here as long as you got a muzzleloader and uh and you got all your permits which we just went through a rigmarole to get on mine <laughs> and uh it took me it le legit took me like what 30 minutes to get all my permits and everything i would have done it in 10. yeah but whatever but uh <laughs> anyway we're rolling through the gate now i gotta i can't show you where we at but uh we're rolling through the gate now and we're about to we're gonna set up in a tree somewhere and uh hopefully i heard i heard a little tail that they've been rutting around pretty good down here oh yeah well uh anyway we're gonna uh we're gonna hopefully get into some rutting activity i got my rattling antlers i got my grunt call and i left my uh can call in my truck so i'm always leaving something behind but anyway we're about to get uh get everything fired up and get ready to get in i don't even know where we're hunting i've only been out here a couple times i'll put you but, on the tree yeah brady's uh, he says he got me but anyway i'll see you guys when we get in the woods somewhere and uh hopefully we can kill something y'all stay tuned about right out there which mm -hmm. ain't but right there mm -hmm. this little angling road if you'll walk it for 400 yards you can either just cut in on this side of the road or you can get on that side of the road and cut that little pinch point right there because mm -hmm. all that right there is you know breeding ground over here so if we can get in right here and wrap up this half and down in here i think we got a good shot you want me to walk up this side is that what you're or that side yeah either way that's okay. what i'm saying because right. you'll see that the big timber right there there's a kind of an edge right there before it yeah. gets a real open mm -hmm. um you can get off in there somewhere or you can cut across and get on the north side of this angling road right here man i mean either way you got a good shot you, you can see 300 yards in this place right. okay. but um i just know right there at the transition of that timber there's a bunch of deer moving up in there but it's all the same deer um but we're gonna go over with that big bottom we just drove by right there so okay all right. if, you, if you didn't know it we just had a buck run right by the truck coming out of where we were wanting to hunt this evening so hopefully he'll come back out <laughs> yeah hope okay it's going after it's, something it's four it was a four point i thought he was at least a five i saw a brow two tie. more points big enough for me yeah <laughs> he's at least a forking one yeah i saw i, th I could have sworn i saw a brow tone on that left side it might have been i don't know he, was, um, he had at least one brow tone yeah he had at least yeah. one brow tone uh, solid forks yeah you know just a i'm there's his brother sitting right there you sure i didn't you three you gonna order yeah no it ain't got a problem you can get it. Out the truck, we've seen two bucks. <laughs> Rad bucks, God. Oh my God. This is. I ain't even. I'm, not, I'm literally in my underwear right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, I was literally changing clothes while that buck walked out. Like, I was in conversation, and just another buck just appears. I'm. Uh, it's, it's crazy. I was mid conversation. Oh my God! There's his brother. I thought you were kidding. No, I, mean, I didn't do. He just that one was bigger than that one. <laughs> Dude, I, so I walked down the road. I paralleled him. I could see him up in there. He winded me, but he ran back in this open section. So that one's still in. There. So just so you guys know, <laughs> it's a wild. This is the stupidest shit. <laughs> so just so you guys know, um, we're it may look like we're being outlaws a little bit, but you can legally hunt from these. It's like a 
what's it called like service road or uh unimproved road or something like that i don't know what it is yeah but you can you can hunt you can <clears throat> walk or shoot from you just can't shoot down or across in the closed area you can walk these roads in here because they're it's this private land but it's there's certain roads out here you can shoot from you just cannot shoot from like, the motor vehicle yeah like the main the big main roads you're not allowed to hunt off of but these little roads that are only one truck wide uh you can you can shoot off of them so everything we're doing is fine it may look like it's it's just stupid out here right now two rack bucks and five minutes yeah five minutes i just i just walked over there and made a uh made a you called him in, son. yeah you called him in. i literally just walked over there and made a sound file in one of my new turkey calls and then I, I just got back to the truck to put on an extra layer and travis oh, there's his brother <laughs> all right let's get up a tree at some point like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> by the way the whole reason i turned on the camera a minute ago was to tell you guys that i am an absolute freaking idiot <laughs> i left my muzzleloader uh loaded from the last time i hunted and uh, a couple weeks ago and i was like well i should probably unload that powder is probably no good anymore i need to uh need to unload it reload it so i was kind of in kind of running behind to meet brady at his work and i unloaded my gun and then just threw it in my truck i was like well i'll load it when we get to the woods well we get to the woods and we're almost where we want to go and uh brady's like all right this is the area we're gonna hunt we're looking around and I just, all of a sudden, it just clicks and my breech plug is sitting in the floorboard of my truck. So, cameraman. I'm a cameraman today. I've got an entire muzzle loader except for <laughs> the breech plug. Well, from the flipping looks of it, it looks like we might be killing something before we ever get a tree. It, it might be that I'm the cameraman until Brady shoots one and then reloads and hands me his gun. <laughs> yeah, that's true. There, there we go. We should there have two in the back of the truck right now. Already, yeah. All right. All right, I, I'm, I gotta put this camera. We gotta get to a tree. We just saw a bug. He's right out there. I think it's a bug. We're looking for his bug. Is it? Is it? Is it? Where is it? He's over here. He's over here. He's right there. He looks like he's going down. Yeah, he's going down. He's going down. He just went down, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's we go. Just got a bug. <laughs> we just got a freaking bug. I filmed it too. Yes, that's sir. the bug we saw driving in. Yep, that's him. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Travis just texted me. Oh my god. <laughs> he went down right out through there somewhere. <laughs> you jack up a tree real quick? <laughs> Bro, I'll go, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna let him sit for a second and die good. I'm gonna drag him to our tree and then we'll sit the rest of the evening and see if you can okay. get one. <clears throat> I, dude, I told you I just heard a buck grunt. Yeah, I didn't believe it. That's all oh, oh my god. I turned around. We're, we're looking for a tree to set up. Oh I turned god. around. I'm like, there he is right there. <laughs> oh my god. That's the same one we saw coming in. Yeah. Oh, my. oh my god, dude. This is unreal. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come back. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you already know, we see two bugs coming in. Me and Zach are in here in this spot. I've been hunting in here a while, and I guess they finally started rutting hard. Seeing two bucks walking in, <clears throat> we're picking out a tree, and I'm like, Zach, I swear I just heard a buck grunt, just like a meh. But it's windy. I thought it may have been pine trees rubbing together. <laughs> we said, right, this is the tree. So we get to the tree, we set our climbing down. Zach goes, hey, there's deer out there, there. I throw up my scope. It's a freaking buck. Nice buck, rack buck. I'm like, no way. He won't stop, he won't listen to me. <coughs> He's got his head down trailing. So finally I go, hey! He picks it up and 130 yards. We watched him fall. We watched his soul was on blood trail. Oh my gosh. Look, look, the truck is right there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Wait, this is unreal. Yeah. Oh, dude, look at the blood. Look at this. <laughs> I should have grabbed my big camera. <laughs> and we thought we missed. We thought you missed. 
when you ran with your tail up there. Yeah. <clears throat> he was cornered away from me, so I put it like on the back side of his shoulder, so it may have just got long. But that first blood, that's long. Yeah. So. There's it go. See, I thought he died over there, but I'm all back. I'm just following the blood. Oh, here's some. Here it is. Right there. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's dead. He ran right back to the truck. The truck's right up in there. Clobberty. Clobberty. <laughs> Heck yes, hey, dude. Look at this. The truck <laughs> is right there. Oh Heck yes, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you want to just drag him to the truck? I mean, the truck's right there. Yeah. We finally got set up. This has been an absolute fiasco and it ain't but like 2.30. 2.30, And uh, are you laughing because it's funny or because it's later than I think it is? No, I'm laughing because it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It might be 3 o'clock, but either way, it's only 3 o'clock. We've killed a deer, seen three legal bucks. Like I said, it's my first time hunting out here. And so far, I think this might become a February tradition. Uh, I've hunted a different chunk of public land that's got this late mud season and seen deer, but I've never seen a legal buck, let alone three legal bucks in the first 20 minutes of being out here. Uh, anyway, <coughs> we're gonna get settled in. I think, so the rule is you can shoot two per day and since I'm in a saddle and Brady's in a climber, it's the way it sets up. Everything kind of easy shots for him he's gonna take and everything else he's gonna hand me his gun if one slips out on us but uh i think as soon as we get a lull in this wind i might pull out the old rattling antlers and see if we can't coax one out of this flat somewhere i don't i have no idea where they're coming from anyway i've we've talked enough this we've already got 30 minutes of content we just started hunting <laughs> No, we didn't. We hadn't even started on. We were just now sitting down. That's what I, we've already got 30 minutes, and we we have just started oh, hunting. Yeah. This is crazy. Oh, it's way off right there. I see a doe running. Nope, that's a buck. It's a buck running. Yeah, buck running. Buck running. Here you go. 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 smoked right there dude well he stopped he stopped behind the tree and then i leaned back and as soon as the crosshair touched his shoulder he started running again and he stopped again and i was like ah, i just can't put 10 inches on me i don't know if i've ever yelled at a deer that much <laughs> he stopped what three times yeah it was awesome if he would have been a for sure shooter he would have been dead oh, yeah. if i would have seen a brow time oh yeah how stupid is this thing? <laughs> it's crazy i'm kind of hoping he's running from a big old butt the way that dude's running, he's getting out of here. Yeah. Alrighty, folks. Uh, forgot to film any more yesterday after. I filmed a little bit, maybe after we saw that last deer. Um, it was a pretty eventful day. Uh, we got a buck down, and we saw another one that was definitely legal, and one or two more that were uh, that were pretty close to legal. So. <coughs> Four bucks and we saw them all in under an hour. So that was pretty crazy. And uh, we're loading up now and gonna ride back out for the next for the next morning hunt. We're uh, 
we're thinking that the movement's going to be primarily mid-morning mid to midday. So uh, we decided to, <clears throat> we're going to kind of just take our time, get there. Uh, not like a shotgun start, it's like a rolling start <laughs> to today's hunt. And uh, we're just going to try to get there where we can see and uh, kind of scout our way into a section and then... Um, <clears throat> Pick us out a good tree to get in, and hopefully we'll see some magnums come scrolling through about 11 o'clock this morning. Real feels 25 right now, so hopefully about the time we get set up in the tree, old magnum walks out, her old barely legal <laughs> six point walks out, and we can just be done with it then. But uh, I don't know how you feeling about it, Travis. Mm, I didn't bring quite enough clothes, so uh, the quicker <laughs> the better. <laughs> well, it'll be sunny today, and there's. There's not much wind, so mm -hmm. it's not going to be. <clears throat> it's not going to be bad as bad as we think it will. But all right, we'll see you guys when we get in the woods. Um, hopefully, we can get something now. Let's think about it. I think that we got up plenty early. Maybe. Yeah, I think we'll see some deer today. <laughs> That's a pretty good start. Yeah, always good. Uh, we uh, we all collectively made the calculated decision last night to try to get in here a little, you know, get in here at daylight. It's 25. We assumed that the deer weren't gonna really move much till mid morning, and well, we might have screwed ourselves a little bit because we have seen what about 12 deer. <laughs> yeah, a lot. And I think three bucks minimum one or two was le were legal bucks. Granted, they were in closed area, but still, we've seen a bunch of deer running around, and uh, since we got here late, we're gonna sit a while, as long as we're seeing stuff. I, re I, I really feel like, yeah, like, yeah, they're moving now, but I really have a good feeling that mid is gonna be like the time. For bucks, anyway. <laughs> yeah, big bucks. Yeah. Or legal bucks. <laughs> we ain't worried about big ones. We're dropping Travis off now. We're going to drive down this road another couple hundred yards. He's going to dive off in this bottom. And hopefully we're going to triple up this morning. Look, if you'll go right to that bottom right there, you'll pop up on like another little ridge right there. And you get up on that ridge, you'll see a, there's a huge flat that goes north right there. You can see this bottom right here. And you'll see that bottom right there, but my truck's going to be right there. But the wind's going to be hit. The truck's going to be hidden, but the wind's out of the north. So they ain't going to smell it. They're crossing that bottom and come right up or they're crossing that flat or they'll walk that ridge you'll be on. So, I'm telling you, you don't have to go 200 yards. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Good luck. Kill them all. Let God sort them out. Kill them. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm literally. I'm trying to get up the tree. And there's three others right here. Stay ready, I'm gonna get set up. That's four deer since we, not that we have any guys up, we've already seen four. Yeah. I just got set up. My uh, my gun's still on the ground. This has already been a pretty crazy hunt. We uh we were picking out a tree pretty much, and there was a button buck right in front of us. And then we had to we didn't have much of a choice but to spook him, and so we tried to spook him pretty hard to get him out of here where he wouldn't blow. And then we picked out a tree, got up the tree. Brady's like all set up, waiting on me to get all ready, and um. I'm like just under his climber. I gotta move my stick like one more time and I'll be set up. And I just happened to look off and what was it, 60 yards, if that? 
I look off and I'm like, oh, there's three deer right there. And they're moving pretty quick. And I'm like, Brady, there's does right there. There's probably a buck behind him. And he's like, he gets his gun. He starts getting ready. And I get out my phone. And three does come by. And they act, they're acting like they're being chased. And then they all start scrambling, doing weird stuff. And two more pop out from where they came from. So I decided... I'm, I'm like still like while they're out in front of us lollygagging like I'm switching between filming them and still climbing up Like they did not look at us. They did not care I just knew they were gonna be being chased by a buck and there definitely could be one that's just hanging back pretty a pretty good ways from them but uh Yeah, we've seen I think six deer and we just got set up my gun still on the ground It's pretty nice Uh, this morning was a bit of a bust. We didn't, I think we saw one spike and that was it. We saw a couple deer when we were driving around. Uh, we we only ended up only hunting till about uh, 10 o'clock and then we drove around for about an hour. Um, I, I knew I couldn't hunt this evening. I gotta be, go back to towards school this evening. So I was done for the day and uh, well, I figured I'd ride around for a little bit and help Brady try to find something, maybe stumble across some good rut sign crossing the roads or something like that and i don't know it just <clears throat> it was just so on fire friday and everything just seemed to go downhill now maybe that was because we were bouncing around spots a little bit maybe um had to do with weather or pressure or something hunting pressure i don't know but it was a really fun weekend it's always fun to kind of extend your seasons season either go somewhere early um, before your home state opens up or extend later on into the season, especially down here. Like, our, our deer rut until April. So, um, we get to chase them. We get to chase them in full rut until the end of February in a couple areas. So, it's, it's, it's a pretty special thing. But, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Always remember to live life 25 high. We'll see you next time.